of the galaxy. No, no, we're two-thirds of the way out. We're on an ordinary star. But our galaxy is the universe, 1927. No, it's not. Edwin Hubble, 1929. We're just one of a few million. And then later on, we're one of a hundred billion. galaxies are traveling. This means if I was doing this video here and you were all expanding and traveling away from each other, where were you a few seconds ago? Here. Where were you a few seconds ago? Here. Where were you a few seconds ago? You were all together. And the idea of the Big Bang started to grow. And George Gamow in 1948 propounded that we all started as a massive atom which blew up many billions of years ago. Of course, if it was true, and you always develop your theory, and you have possible clues, you have evidence, you want evidence to prove your theory, where is the background radiation that's left over? If there was this big explosion, and the radiation spread out over billions of years, where is this radiation? But of course, the techniques in those days weren't very good. Radio astronomy started in 1931. But in 1965, using a beautiful microwave detector, seven meter dish, they discovered the background radiation. And that shows you, along with other evidence, that the Big Bang Theory is the best we've got at the moment. <laughs> 